the cloud and what you can do using different hardware. Okay, so let's say you start that uh, process or creation. One thing that will strike you directly is the ease of use, the ability to do it yourself. The fact that you can use building blocks consisting of 1.1 million uh, assets, or you can import your own data, um, and you can do so having very high visual quality. So let's have a glance at that. Let's start with the library. So Eon supports a big library consisting of many uh, objects, uh, more than 1.1 million, and they've all been now freshed up with 9.0 with much higher visual quality. And these are then used as building blocks for the ability to create and share uh, 3D objects. We, I forgot to say that you can do the same with 360, so you, we also have a vast library of uh, 360 images and videos. Uh, once you have your assets, let's say it's a 3D object, then it's as easy or even easier than PowerPoint to create your content. So um, this is the previous interface, the new one looks even better, but you can see even here that uh, it's basically click and point, very intuitive. It takes about 45 minutes to be certified to create uh, lessons, uh, whether you're a student or your faculty member. With 9.0, we're also introducing a brand new user interface where we, the environment is much cleaner, it's easier to follow, uh, the whole experience is, uh, is better and allows the student or the faculty member to focus on the content creation and the, um, the quality. Uh, so talk about quality, how about the visual quality? So we have basically upgraded the whole experience. So we have something called physics based rendering, the real time shadows, uh, reflections, and rather than talk about it, what better to do than actually show it to you. So here's an example uh, looking at the bicycle. Here's another example looking at uh, a fish uh, that you can dissect and interact with, or even put objects in real life. So this car is obviously augmented reality. And everything the student had here to do this is a phone. So a regular phone that they hold up our platform and they can experience it. It's been going to that level that's almost difficult to depict what's real and not. Uh, you can see here there's a, a yellow car, there's a vehicle, and there's other objects. And I often ask which of those are real, and many times I don't get the right answer. So let me give you two seconds which of those objects are real. If you guess the car, that's the wrong answer. The right answer is the rover. So you can see that clearly there, um, that the, the shadows and the whole effects provide this visual <coughs> experience that's quite exciting. And this is not limited to just single objects. You can do a bunch of other th stuff. You can actually interact. There's something called, there's a feature uh, that allows you to move or disassemble objects and place them in different physical spaces. I know when I was doing this, my wife was a bit upset because I was messing up the living room. So she kicked it around, as you see there. <laughs> now that's a joke. But it is uh, not a joke, the fact that you can affect real environments uh, in augmented reality. And this can propagate to other environments. So you can, for example, have life-size uh, historical environments like that one. Or you can have some, uh, something like a tabletop experience. Uh, you can scale it to anything, or you can even go from small versions like you see here to all the way to life size. So you can you can adapt the size. So for example, an avatar can be uh, miniature or can be even bigger than life, as you can see there in a second uh, when I'm scaling up things. So that shows a little bit of the visual quality. Uh, now. How about if you have real objects? Uh, you can also scan using LiDAR technology. Uh, you can go to a statue and we support that uh, to scan it. Um, and LiDAR technology is wonderful because it also helps to depict if you put an object in a 3D space, what's in front and what's behind. So if you look here, uh, the sofa is in front and the, the air object is behind. Now if it was not supported by LiDAR, then uh, the system would not know what's in front and behind, but Eon XR knows and supports that. Obviously, this type of application are very useful for 
mechanical engineering, Boston Dynamics. You can also take things, you, you're not limited to indoors, you can take those and make them bigger life outside. You can even go to the extent that you have an object that you take with you and you put it at the, be uh, at the beach. You can see here, someone got his feet wet uh, and <laughs> the car is floating in the water. So real uh, experience and uh, the, 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 the tracking is extremely stable that you can actually sustain uh, AR objects uh, even in waves uh, while you interact with it. Um, so that's, um, and also you can affect, uh, do this combination of real life. So you can see here, for example, that uh, depending on the waves, the engine is moving. This is more of an interesting example of what you can do with the technology. Um, now, if you want to go from single objects, how about if you want to visit uh, a museum and you don't want to leave your room, you can scale that museum. In this case, it happens to be a more like an exhibit. And you can walk physically around. You can see that when I put transparency I'm actually in, in my living room, and you can see there in the window uh, uh, some type of um, painting. But obviously, the problem is in a small room that you hit your head against the wall very quickly, like I did here. So I took that experience to the next level and I brought it outdoors. Uh, this is on my patio. And then I could walk for like 10, 20 yards. Uh, but even in this environment, after a while, you, you hit your neighbor's uh, uh, garden, so to speak. So you have limitations there. Uh, but if you go on a football soccer field, there are no limitations. So then you can actually go all the way. Um, you can walk for, if this museum is 100 yards, actually walk for 100 yards. But it's not only about experiencing spaces, it's about interacting in spaces. So let me share an example with you. This is a, this is a kitchen. And again, I'm, you can see I'm at the same place. I loaded my kitchen. I uh, can uh, interact with, not only walk around, but also, for example, prepare the food. I'm also able to invite other participants. Eon has something called XR meetings. I didn't do that in this particular case. And then we can actually prepare the food together. So if it gets too hot in the kitchen, you take a quick swim. And then when you come back, you can see the kitchen is there. Uh, you walk in, you turn off transparency. And let's see if the tagliatelle is ready. Uh, so that's the dream that we've had for many years to do what we call the virtual campus. Uh, using life-size XR, using um, meetings, and when I'm done, I just shrink my kitchen to the size of a matchbox. I put it in my pocket and I bicycle home. Now, last part was a joke, but uh, you get a good sense of what is possible to do today with 9.0. You can also upload, if you don't have, don't want to use the models that are offered, you can upload your own models, um, and Eon supports a number of CAD systems. Uh, and also non-CAD data. So it uploads, uh, it helps to optimize the number of polygons, it helps also to orient the objects the way you do it with the correct axis. And then you can bring with you, if you have uh, annotation or you can add the annotation, then use those building blocks uh, later on to create your content. Uh, now, many people have 3D assets that are non-CAD, so OBJ, it can, that it can be also a 3D Studio Max data animation package. And that's also possible to import in 3D. So FBX, uh, Max, and uh, GLT, many, many new formats. Similar process there, you just drag and drop your file. You set the category that you want to do it. You then, the model is prepared, and then you can preview it. And if you like what you see, you create your thumbnail for your lesson of your asset, and then you can do the conversion, okay? So um, that's basically what you can do with the ease, ease of use.